so here we're going to talk about the differences between original Medicare, Part A, Part B, Part C, and Part D. And we're just going to run through it. Um, and so what I always tell people is when I talk to them on the phone, I say, okay, go ahead and write this down. And I tell them, draw a T chart or draw a big T dividing your paper in half. And on the top left, go ahead and write original Medicare. And on the right, go ahead and write Medicare Advantage. And so, original Medicare consists of Medicare Part A and Part B. Part A is your hospital benefits, and Part B is your medical benefits, which is your outpatient stuff. And, and so I don't go into the details of what Part A are, and I slightly touch in Part B, but my job is to give them enough information without confusing them because I feel like if you give them too much information and go into the rabbit hole of the different parts to part A and deductibles and co-payments and so on and so forth with part A it's just going to confuse them and so I don't, I don't do that I just say part A is your hospital benefits if you go and get hurt and you have to sleep there for three four days got a heart attack cancer whatever have you something big you're going to end up in the hospital that's where part A comes in most of everything that you're going to use is going to fall under Part B. That's your medical or outpatient benefits. Part B has a deductible, which this year is two hundred thirty-three dollars, and then it's eighty twenty coverage. Eighty being Medicare, twenty being the the client. The problem here, see, notice how like I I, I say it the same way. The problem here is there is no cap here. And the first major decision that somebody has to make when they're going on to Medicare is if they're going to stay in this category or this category. Assuming that those are their only two options. I'm not talking about group benefits, retiree benefits, VA benefits, TRICARE for Life. All that stuff's a little bit different. But if they don't have any of that, this is the first decision they have to make. Are they going to stay with original Medicare or are they going to go with Medicare Advantage? Medicare Advantage is an alternative to Medicare. Also known as Part C. That's one thing I did not mention. So it's Part C. And so now we have A, B, the third part is Part C, also known as Medicare Advantage. It's an alternative to Medicare. This is actually on the Medicare New Guide for 2022. It's on page five of the Medicare New Guide. They have it split it up like this. Um, Medicare Advantage or Part C includes hospital benefits and it includes outpatient medical benefits. But unlike original Medicare where there is no cap, with Medicare Advantage you actually get to pick the cap. You get to pick how much money you can afford out of pocket yearly uh, in the forms of co-pays, co-insurance, and max out of pockets, um, also known as MOOP, M-O-O-P. And so me Medicare Advantage, unlike original Medicare, where you can pretty much go to any doctor, any hospital that accepts Medicare, with Medicare Advantage, you have to go to their doctors and their hospitals, and that's split up into HMOs and PPOs. With HMO, you have to go to their doctors and their hospitals, and if you go outside of the network, you may be penalized and not have any coverage. And of course, they have some clauses in there for emergency services and all that, but most of the time with an HMO is you have to go there. With PPO, there are doctors that the, the uh, insurance company would prefer that you go to, and there are some that you don't have to go to. You can be in network or out of network. So with the PPO, you, you have to go to their doctors and their hospitals, but if you go outside of the network, you would be um, 
you pay higher out of pocket. So for example, you may have a $20 copay at the doctor's office that's in network, but maybe a $50 copay if you're out of network. And so Medicare Advantage does have networks that you have to pay attention to, and you pick the plan based on your doctors that you take. So whenever you, you're searching for Medicare Advantage plan that will work for a customer, you first want to collect their doctor's information, every single doctor that they use. So if they see they have one primary care physician, they have maybe one cardiologist, and maybe they have one foot doctor. You have to collect all those doctor's information, and then also you have to collect their prescription drug plans, and so you pick a Medicare Advantage plan based first on the doc doctors and prescriptions that that are accepted, right? That are, that work with the plans available in the area first, and then second, based on their maximum amount of pocket that they can afford. So obviously, you want to go with the lowest out of pocket possible. But if there's a plan that has a lower out of pocket, but they don't have a doctor that's covered, that's irrelevant, right? We want to make sure the doctors are covered first. And so, maximum out of pocket or MOOP, when you're choosing the maximum out of pocket, it's going to be different based on the plan. And so whenever you do a review with somebody, you're going to um, collect all their information. You're going to sort it by the least out of pocket cost to the customer. And then you're going to actually go and review the plans. Most of the time with Medicare Advantage, and although there are restrictions, most of the time with Medicare Advantage, they cost nothing or very little out of pocket. I mean, between zero and $20 a month is what we're seeing. But again, you won't know that until you, you put in all the doctor's information and so on and so forth. But with Medicare Advantage, this is the least expensive option. But you, it's, not, it's not for everybody. So what's going to happen is you're going you're gonna to sacrifice something here to get a lower out of pocket. And it's usually in the network is where you'll see some of the restrictions. So with, with Medicare Advantage, you pay less per month, but you have to play you have your insurance is now. Let me say it the right way. You're going to have to play their game a little bit when it comes to the insurance here, or you can stay with the original Medicare, have Part A and Part B, but then get a supplement. And unlike Medicare Advantage, where you search based on doctors, you search based on hospitals, you search based on maximum out of pocket, here. All the benefits are exactly the same, and it doesn't matter what company you're with. So what that means is you don't have to worry about whether or not a doctor accepts it or doesn't accept it, because as long as they accept Medicare, they are going to accept the supplement. And there are 10 supplements to choose from, 10 plans, but the two most popular are plan G and plan N. With plan G, once you meet your Medicare deductible, everything is covered at 100%. And with plan N, exactly like plan G, once you meet your $233 deductible, it's covered also at 100%, but then there's a $20 copay that you have to pay. And there's some other things, details regarding Plan N that I go into, um, which I'm not going to do for this training um, because I just want to go over the basics of original Medicare, Medicare Advantage. Now, Medicare Advantage also, on the right side of the paper, this typically includes prescription drug coverage. Now, there are some, there are some companies or plans where you, they don't include prescription drug coverage. They do that in case somebody already has prescription drug coverage somewhere else. So for example, if they're a veteran and they get their, their drugs through the VA, so that's something that you've been working with. So if they get their prescriptions through the VA, then you don't have to collect prescription drug coverage. You just collect the doctor's information because you're just going to get them an MA plan. MA, Medicare Advantage, or MAPD, which is Medicare Advantage Prescription Drug. So that's the difference. Um, most of the people that I work with are not VA just because of the way my targeting is to my audience. 
So most of the time I will write a Medicare Advantage plan, but if I do come across a veteran who maybe have TRICARE or has VA benefits and gets them, then they don't need additional drug coverage unless, let's say they're complaining and say, well, my hospital requires a drive across the mountain 60 miles for me to go get my prescriptions filled. I may ask, hey, do you want me to look for a plan that may include prescription drug coverage just so you can use any, any uh, pharmacy that you would like? So with original Medicare, Part A does not include drug benefits. Part B does not include drug benefits. The supplements do not include drug benefits. So you have to have a separate Part D prescription drug plan. And so with the original Medicare, you're going to have Part A hospital, Part B medical, about 80-20 coverage. You're going to have a supplement, which is more expensive than original Medicare. So here, they, they don't have to go to any network, so, so you're going to pay more for it, more insurance, more benefits, more price. Whereas here with Medicare Advantage, you pay less, uh, but you have to play their game a little bit more. And then Medicare Advantage sometimes will include prescription drug coverage. With original Medicare, it does not include prescription drug coverage. You have to have a separate Part D plan. And you search the Part D plan the same way you would search here, which is by looking up all the prescriptions, the dosages, the quantities, their pharmacy, and then use the, we use Sunfire, right? So then we put all that into Sunfire, and then we do the scope of appointment, make sure we're compliant, and then it'll spit out what the best Part D plan is. And you always first look to make sure that a prescription is covered before you start recommending any plans. And Sunfire does a good job of, of giving us a red flag where they say, hey, prescription XYZ is not covered. But it may be to where that prescription drug, that, that one, that drug, may not be covered anyway. Maybe it's just something that's not covered by Medicare. And sometimes, if let's say the price difference between a plan that is covering one medication versus a plan that's not covering one medication, if let's say such a big difference in cost in all the other medications, I may go to GoodRx and see if we can get that one prescription paid for with the coupon and we don't even have to use insurance to get it covered. So I will do that before I make my recommendation. But most of the time, I mean, are you guys you working? Um, what's your age demographic that you're working typically? Just 65 to 75. Okay, all right. So you may run into some issues where the medications may be a little bit more complicated, but that's what I was telling you on the phone. But when you start talking, you want to collect as much information as you can and then set a follow-up appointment and say, hey, let me do some research. Then you talk to Johnny and Johnny will then let you um, go with you through the process of how you can explain that plan to the people. Any questions about this? It's pretty straightforward. So you have two decisions you have to make. Once you make which side you fall on, then you decide what supplement you want or what Medicare Advantage plan you want. So you're really going to make two major decisions. Once you, once you decide which side of the page you're on, then you're going to decide what coverage is best for you. And that's usually how I explain, do my presentation. Um, and people will then make their first decision, okay, well, yeah, I definitely want Medicare Advantage. I'm super healthy. I never go. I don't take any medications. Don't see any doctors. Whatever the justification is, whatever they tell you, because we're, we're even though we are going to make a recommendation based on our professional opinion, we're not going to push them super hard into one or the other. And they'll usually talk themselves into which direction they're going to be going to. Um, and I always tell people that, and of course, depending on what I'm selling, I may push them one way or the other just based on what they tell me. If they let's say they have a hard time deciding, I'll say, well, Ms. Smith, based on what you told me, it definitely sounds like XYZ is the best option. Or based on what you told me, ABC is the best option or whatever, right? And then it still feels like they're the ones making the decision. They just need somebody to, to talk with, need somebody to talk that through with. That's a mouthful. Hey, hey. how are you? All right, how you doing? I'm good. We need a rematch. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that. Yes. So that is, that is how I present the differences between original Medicare, Medicare Advantage. Any questions? It's time to train like a guru. Go Guru University is an ever-expanding, cutting-edge, interactive training platform with live weekly coaching calls constructed to train agents efficiently and compliantly. Go Guru University offers a library of training modules explaining Medicare A to Z, face-to-face -face and telesales training, SEO and other marketing, and much more. 
Visit goguru.university to schedule your one-on-one demo today.